Hi, I'm going to show you how to transfer files to and from Bianca using rsync. And rsync is a tool to do so, and you cannot do this directly. You need to have a more complex setup. So these are the steps. Uh, if your computer are outside of SUNET, get inside of it, get inside those university networks, for example, using a VPN. Then on your local computer, step two is to log in to Transit, which is a special server. Mount Bianca there, and then on your local computer you can send files to Bianca using rsync or download files from Bianca using rsync. And what I'll be doing is I'll follow the steps in the documentation, at the Upmax documentation that is. So get inside SUNET, I'm already there, so here you see my VPN, uh, the Cisco VPN to the Uppsala University Network that has its own two-factor authentication nowadays. Um, I'm not going to show how to do it, there are videos how to do that. Next step, on my local computer I'm going to log into Transit. So um, I have, I just copy paste my example documentation here, because Richel is my username. And when I will be asked for a password, use your Upmax password without two-factor authentication. Right, so I can do that. So SSH Richel at transit.upmax.com uu.se and I'm already logged in or um, I don't know why it works but if you need to give a password uh, it's your regular password. Next step we need to mount a Bianca project and um, actually I've just logged in to transit so you see here the text that you see and it says mount wharf project and the optional path I'll be indeed not using the optional path, I'll be using Mount Wharf of my project because then it will use a default path. So I have a Bianca project uh, in 2016-001, so I'm going to mount it. Um, the problem is it's already there, uh, so this should work for you, else, uh, and then you, you see it there. So I can now really go into my Bianca War folder. It's empty. Um, but I have now mounted my Bianca War onto Transit. So that's what you needed to do. If you are asked for a password, you need to use the Upmax two-factor authentication as well. Um, so if you your password is, for example, very secret, and your upmax two-factor authentication is one two three four five six then this would be your password so for me this folder was already there for you it will now be created so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to upload files to bianca and first i'll be show them uh, i'll upload an individual file then i'll transfer all files in a folder well because probably you want to work from a folder too uh, to bundle whatever you're transferring. Um, so I'll just transfer an individual file here. So the beauty is now everything is set up. So now we, c we don't need to type any passwords anymore. So uh, this is the command rsync local file to transit server. And I'm going to use rsync my local file text. Here on my local computer I'm going to send my local file to my Bianca wharf in one go. Alright, so this is me being on the wharf, uh, or uh, that is me being on transit. Um, then I'm going to go to my local computer here. This is my local computer, and there's a file, file from local computer, brilliant name. And we're going to rsync that file to there. So I'm going to copy this. I need to rename my local file to file from local computer. So this is what I'm going to send. I'm going to send this file from my local computer to my Bianca Wharf in one go via transit. I've set it up now and this is all there is to it. Um, I can check this now. Uh, let's do this. Let's check this. So I can check from Bianca but also in the transit I can take a look because from transit I can now take a look at my wharf, so I go into my wharf, I do ls to see all my files there, and there it is, file from local computer. 
So from transit you can check if it's in your wharf. So this is how I copied a file from my local computer to the wharf of my Bianca project via transit. Now I'm going to do this for a folder, uh, which is not all too different, it's just a different piece of rsync functionality. rsync has a lot of things you can do. Um, now you need to use rsync dash dash recursive and then the name of your folder and then where you want it to go. So um, I'm copy this. I do have a folder called my folder. So this is my local computer. There's a folder called my folder so I can use rsync recursively my folder to my Brianka wharf of this project via transit and now I've copied a folder to my Bianca Wharf project via transit. I go back to transit to see if it works. I know it works but so I go into my Bianca Wharf, I ls, I see my folder here. I go in my folder, let's see if everything was copied. Yes there was a file in my folder and um, it does have text. Yes it has text in it. So I go back to my transit home folder, it was in my Bianca Wharf. Well done. The last step, I'm going to do the other way around. I'm going to transfer the files from Bianca to my local computer. And of course, um, this is uh, it, we have to be responsible with our sensitive data. May, we should not download sensitive data to our local computer. Luckily, um, all these files I've just copied were complete nonsense. For the setup what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove all these files, remove, and I'm going to remove my folder on my local computer. So on my local computer, there's no local file, there's no my folder anymore. So because I need to download them from Bianca. Well, the beauty is that it's now all I need to do is all is these commands basically in reverse. Um, that's the beauty of using rsync, it, work, it works very nicely. Um, so first I'm going to transfer the individual file back. I forgot the name of it so I'll have to look it up. And after that I'll transfer a folder. Um, let's do it. Um, rsync... Blah blah blah. So this is the command. rsync me at transit project and the name of the file. Let's take a look at it. So, so I'll just copy paste this command and then modify the... So this will not work because the my file in wharf will fail. It's, it's a file that's not there. So this is how it looks like. Had this file uh, is not there, then I'll just take a look. So I go to transit, I'm going into my wharf. It's called file from local computer. Well we can... We, we keep calling it like this file from local computer. Copy paste this, go to my local computer and I say dear rsync from transit in my Bianca war for this project this file name copy it here. That's what the dot means. And if everything went well if I do ls I should see this file. Alright so I do ls to see my files now this file is back. Now I'm going to do the same thing for to transfer all the folders in your wharf, actually to, to copy your wharf from Bianca to your local computer. Um, uh, this can be dangerous again at sensitive data. On the other hand, uh, it could also be that there's a lot of non-sensitive data in your wharf folder. There can be a lot of data there, potentially. Um, this would be a bad idea in general because the wharf should usually be empty uh, because it's a security risk. Um, but I'm going to show you how to copy a wharf, everything from wharf to your local computer. Um, notes I don't specify a folder or whatever, I specify my username, transit, project name and then move it here. So it's going to do that. There. And now I have my whole WARF folder on my local computer. If I do ls, I won't see this folder name directly. It will be called this. It will be called my after my Bianca folder. 
uh, Bianca project so I go into that folder there and here too we have our file that we already copied but here we have the folder and um, yeah everything's copied now uh, of course you can do more specific things um, I picked these ex these uses of our sync because they were the most simple and the most general you can advance your things but that is not the purpose of this page the page purpose was to show file transfer to and from Bianca using rsync following these workflows but rsync has way more functionality in how it works but then you should go to the rsync page to find out uh, these specifics all right this was my video about doing file transfer to and from Bianca using rsync and I wish you a very good day Bye.